and we're gonna go over some of the function keys, such as receipt feed on the top left, which will feed some paper out. Detail feed, which will let you run the journal. We have a void key, which is not working right now. There's nothing to void. NS key, which is a no sale. You'll open your register. Receipt on off. Off on. Top left corner of the screen, you're gonna see R on. This means every time you make a transaction, a receipt will come out. We're gonna hit receipt on off. Top left corner will now display R off. Every time you make a transaction, no receipt comes out. To speed up operations, the X time key is a good key to mark several items for the same price. So somebody wants to buy five items that are each $1. So we're gonna head and hit five, followed by the X time key. And now we're ready to input the price, which is $1. We're gonna hit POU one key. And now we have a total of 544. We're going to show you how to return an item or a transaction. You've marked a transaction for $2 and a $5 item. But your customer wants to return. If you allow returns and your customer needs to return a $2 item, what we're going to do is go to register mode, hit return, and type in the amount or item the customer wants to return. In this case, the $2 item. So we're gonna go ahead and type in $2 and hit the PLU one key to deduct the item we had charged previously. 